officially I've dated three women in my life and unofficially I've dated maybe like 24 and one engagement and one failed marriage. But in all of these situations, I always said to myself and to the partner, I'm not the kind of guy to be giving you roses and to do all these romantics and do dinner in, under the candlelight and buy you teddy bear. I show my love in different ways, you know. That's always my stance. Until I met Tata. Tell me now why I'm more excited to buy this girl all these little flowers, roses. Today, see what I bought for my little cow. <laughs> we have a little joke where she calls me a horse and I call her a cow and I'll be doing, you know, whatever, you know. In the past, if you told me that I would be the guy buying flowers, uh, I would have sworn that you are a madman. But look at me now. Shame on me. Or I mean, well, I guess... It's not, it was never really about me not wanting to buy it and it was not my style of love. It was just maybe about not finding the person I wanted to buy it for. That's the point I'm making. If you're not receiving flowers now from your partner and they say, oh, that's just not how I am. The, the you is silent. That's just not how I am for you. <laughs> I'm doing too much. Sorry, guys. Hi everybody, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. Well, in today's video, this is another episode of If He Wanted To, He Would. Take a look. Hey ladies. So a girl got on here and posted screenshots of a guy that she was seeing who was basically telling her that, you know, I don't want to see you anymore because I know you respect yourself a lot and you expect a lot out of me. And if I were with somebody else who maybe didn't respect herself as much, I could get away with more. Or I could get away with like doing less and she wouldn't expect so much out of me. Which, I mean, hey, I appreciate the honesty. Then a guy got on here and said that with his old girlfriends, he used to tell them like if they would ask him for flowers or anything or gifts, he would tell them, I don't really do that. I'm not that type of guy. But now that he's with this woman who he loves and he really wants to be with, he finds himself buying her stuff all the time. And he was like on the way to buy her a stuffed bear that day. Like it was it was adorable. But I say all that to say that men are very aware of how they treat you. You think that you're like discreetly settling your standards you think that he doesn't realize that you should be asking for more than this or you should be requiring more out of me? You think you're the only one that notices that he hasn't done anything but make empty promises to you? Oh, I'm gonna take you here, I'm gonna take you there. When I make you my girlfriend, when we get married and then never, never ever does anything to make that happen? You think he doesn't know that he's doing that? They know. They know. They 100% know. They know that if I want to go out with this type of girl, she's probably going to expect for me to pick the place and to pay for dinner. But if I go out with this girl, I don't have to do nothing but text her an hour ahead of time. Maybe not even that. And she'll probably pay for me if I ask her to. Like, they know. And even if you don't see it as a reflection of your self-respect, even if you don't think that it necessarily matters they see it as a reflection of your self-respect and they know that it matters. So just think about that. The next time that you are consciously accepting some subpar treatment, just think about the fact that he knows what he's doing, baby. He knows. I've compiled a few clips uh, with people stitching what she said. Um, so let's get into that video. Hey, ladies. So a girl got on here and posted screenshots of a guy that she was seeing who was basically... Let me just say this. Hey, ladies. I'm going to go ahead and pick it back on what a girl was trying to say. It seems like there is this consensus going around on TikTok. Everyone is like, you know, relationship gurus. Everyone has so much tips and tricks for ladies and gentlemen on how to date. When the reality is the only real indicator that someone is for you is time. Of course, you can go ahead and look at red flags and not ignore them. But there have been so many times in my own personal experience that I've gotten the flowers. I've gotten the trips. I've been asked to be a girlfriend. I've been introduced to friends. I've been introduced to family members. And they still played me or they still mistreated me or they still did not value me. I've had situations where we started off in a little bit of a bumpy start and became really good friends and had a great dating experience. There, there is no rhyme or reason. There is not a rhyme or reason. My advice, know your boundaries. Know what it is you're willing to accept or neglect and make sure that the person that you invest in is also doing the same. It's honestly that simple. But good luck out there because it's rough. Men are very aware of how they treat you. You think that you're like discreetly? Men are not complicated. Our excuses for them are. 
These men who are stringing you along or disrespecting you know exactly what they are doing. It is not that they are incapable of having emotional intelligence or empathy, but that their poor behavior is usually being enabled by past partners who have accepted that treatment and also most likely moms who still baby them. Do not forget that these are the same men who are clever enough to hide when they are cheating or are aware enough to know which exes they can still text who will respond back to them. They know that they should have called you when they said they were going to. They know they should have made plans for your birthday. And they definitely know when you are allowing them to treat you with subpar behavior, which is also usually why they will continue to embarrass you after every single chance you give them. People will only disrespect you as much as you disrespect yourself, which is another reason why you need to continue to practice and build your self-love because that is going to protect you from people who are willing to entertain you with no intention of investing in you. You need to value yourself enough to know that you deserve more than to rearrange your standards for someone who was never going to meet them in the first place. So I think that is so true in almost any relationship that you will have throughout your lifetime, be it friendship, be it relationships, be it business partnerships, be it jobs. Never feel ashamed for having standards for how other people should treat you. And of course, there are always things that are more subjective and there's also standards that we may be more flexible on. But the standards that are at the core of who you are, that are centered to how you value yourself and how you want other people to value you, the moment you start compromising, best believe those people are taking note. They are taking note because they are following it in the back of their minds to use later in order for them to take advantage of you. Anyone who is frustrated or angry because you have standards are people who are either looking to take advantage of it or people who have no standards for themselves. Especially if you're not the woman that they really want to be with. Unfortunately, you will suffer for that. You'll find yourself asking for, begging for things that should be the bare minimum and they won't give it to you and they know that they're not giving it to you. They know exactly what they're not doing and they know what they are doing. They might nece not necessarily like leave or break up with you. They'll stay and so you'll confuse it with thinking that they actually do wanna be with you and maybe they will change. Maybe they will hear you one day. They, they won't. Because let them be with the woman that they really do wanna be with. That woman won't have to ask for a damn thing. And if she does, she will get it and never have to ask again. I do believe that how people treat you is how they feel about you. So if you tell Bae that there's something that you don't like or that you prefer him to not do or it's something that'll hurt you in some form or fashion and then he does it anyway, he just showed you how he feels. And I'm just referring to things that are reasonable, things that make your girl feel secure in her relationship with you, which you should care about. I have to make myself clear on this app because you'll know how y'all are. But yeah, if I told you something's gonna hurt my feelings and you do it anyway, that tells me everything I need to know. Sometimes these men are doing these gestures not because they want you as a wife or a priority, but because they wanna keep you as an option. You can tell a man is trying to keep you as an option because that nigga will do the bare minimum sh They will breadcrumb you with just enough to keep you interested, but not enough to prove or show you that they're actually focusing on you. You'll find the moments you're thinking like, Tyrone. Tyrone a, a call, won't he? He'll start to learn how long he can go without really giving you attention. How long he can go without taking you on a real date. And that's what he's going to give you because this man doesn't have you in his life because he wants you as a wife. He has you in his life because he needs you as an option. Some love having options. And I'm gonna be honest, some of y'all the Tuesday girl. He really ain't ghosting you for real. He got a pattern. He gonna hit you up around Monday, make sure you free on Tuesday, come over and you won't hear from him until like Sunday because he got to set up Tuesday again. He really ain't going ghost. He just don't fuck with you like that. Yes, you are not a mind reader and you need to put yourself on a pedestal. You need to respect yourself. You need to know where you draw the line. You need to keep those standards high, okay? Do not make excuses for a grown man. If he's not calling you, if he's not testing, if he's, he doesn't want to spend time with you, you know, he makes excuses like the other guy said. Every time those girls were asking him to buy cars, it's like, I'm not that type of guy. I don't like buying cars. I don't like uh, doing them romantic stuff. Maybe he doesn't like doing it with you, okay? So if you are into that, don't waste your time. Just keep it moving. Find someone who will do those things for you because 
if this guy won't do it another guy will do it okay there's no need for you to be pushing and pressing and trying so hard for him to to do what put a ring on your finger know your self-worth love yourself add value to yourself respect yourself know your boundaries and your limits don't allow anybody at all to come into your life and call the shot in your life okay but anywho thank you so much for watching this video leave your thoughts about all of this in the comment section i'll see you tomorrow with another video take care of yourselves bye